Hi, YouTube. Um, I'm going to read the subtitles from this. Uh, because he's speaking in his native language. He's from Tanzania. And he's saying that there's something suspicious with the coronavirus tests. So let me start it at the beginning. Okay, it says, we took samples from... Let me start it over. Sorry, guys. We took samples from goats. We took some samples from sheep. We took some samples from pawpaws. We even took samples from car oil. And we took samples from other different things. And we took the samples to the laboratory without them knowing. And we even took samples, like the samples from the car oil. We named it Jabel Hama, 30 years old male. The results came back negative. We took the samples from the jackfruit, durian. We named it Sarah Samuel, 45 years old, female. The results came back unconclusive. We took the samples from the pawpaw. I think it's a kind of fruit, maybe. We named it Elizabeth Ani, 26 years old, female. The results from the papa came back positive, that it has corona. That means the liquid from the papa is positive. We took samples from a bird type called kawari. The results came back positive. We took samples from a rabbit. The results came back undeterminate. We took samples from a goat and the results came back positive. We took samples from a sheep and it came back negative. And so on and so on. So now when you see this, you have taken the samples and say to them, the results come back positive and they have corona. That means all the papa should be in isolation also. When you take the goat samples and they're also positive, that means that the goats that we have here by assumption or maybe the goat with the sample which was taken should also be in isolation. And when you take the jackfruit durian, it is also positive. That liquid from the jackfruit durian, which we named it Elizabeth, meaning Elizabeth the jackfruit durian, <laughs> <laughs> that means the jackfruits durian should be in isolation also. So you notice something like this, you must know that there's a dirty game played in these tests. There's an undeniable, unbelievable things happening in this country. Either the laboratory workers in there are brought by the people with money. Either they are not well educated with this because this laboratory is used for other diseases either the samples which are brought in because even the reagents are imported because even the swabs are also imported so it must it's a must that something is actually going on now even the papa samples are positive they have corona so who should really do something big about these things and even the goats have corona. And if they haven't realized that the corona affects humans or goats, it, 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 it also affects us, I forget. So scientists haven't done even research on this matter. So there are several people. Through the extra information I have here, there must be people who were told that they are positive when they are not really corona patients. And some might even die from worry. The papa, it's there, it's not dead. It's there, just getting ripe. The goat is also just around, it's not even dead. The jackfruit durian, maybe it's just rot, rot. oh gosh, this is too fast. But all those are positive and more other things. So I am giving advice to Tanzanians, don't worry. For those who are tired and not injured in any way, why should you worry? 
the fleur has always been there. This is just, this shall also pass. But the issue of finding out even a papa has corona is inside the papa, not on the outer layer. Because if the samples were taken from the outer layer, they would have said it's someone who touched it has corona. But they don't. They took the samples with the right specifications. They inserted the swab inside the papa. They might say something went inside the goat and gave it corona. But the goat to have corona, a jackfruit durian to have corona, a papa to have corona, a bird like Kawe to have corona. There must be several questions to be asked, we as Tanzanians, but also the whole world and the African. We must ask ourselves about this whole issue of the virus. There must be something that isn't understood well by Tanzanians and to the science that it might be well understood by the whole world. But I am giving advice to you who are using these equipments, especially in Africa. Take samples from different animals. Take samples off anything, even a wall, <laughs> even a lizard. Take a sample of anything. They are going to prove that I what I am saying. I am a science expert, and I know what I'm saying. And this work was done by people who are really qualified. I am a Uganda Tanzanian. We are still in the elementary stage. Let's not panic. Let's continue to work hard. Production should continue, and the huge scale. We should not put fear on each other. As politicians, should stop using this as a scare tactic. Oh, he speaks so fast. But Tanzanians, we should not accept this. Corona is not. Oh my gosh, she's too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's in Sweden. It's everywhere. It's in Japan. It's in China. Everywhere. Now they should not use this. First of all, the disease never started here. Tanzanians, let's stand strong. Let's unite. Let's put God first. Let's work hard. We should not be afraid of each other. We should help each other. So we can solve this problem together. For those who are still trying to do nonsense things, like the things that I just said, that even a papa has corona, Kawe has corona, a goat has corona, in the scientific approach, people really have to work hard. I am asking our specialists in the universities, University of Dar es Salaam, all universities, now Remy, this is the right time to really work hard and show the integrity in doing research during this period. I'm not really sure the head of this laboratory if he really knows, but even when we didn't tell him, he tested the samples thinking that the samples were from humans, but why didn't he do trials in the initial test so that he could justify the test kits that he was using? So that they many nonsense things in all of this? Oh, I guess that, that's the end of it. I'm sorry, you know, I guess their language has less syllables than ours, so I wasn't even able to read it as fast as he was saying it. Or, but, but we got the point, like... For real, can a coronavirus be in a, in a fruit? You can test anything. Obviously, the tests are lies. And um, with your eyes and your ears wide open, you can see that as funny as this was and as truthful as he was speaking, that you need to use your discernment. Um, I don't think anybody who has a healthy immune system has any issues with the coronavirus. And not to be scared, I think wearing a mask and staying in your house is more de detrimental to uh, the health of your um, your mental well-being. Um, and not having human touch and avoiding other humans is not good for that either. Okay, God bless, and I'll talk to you all later.